hi guys welcome back to another video welcome to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Sharon if you're not a subscriber thank you so much for coming back to watch this video so today's video I am going to be showing you guys how much we spent as a family of five uh, on crossing <laughs> It's just the beginning of the month i think we are a week into the month right now and we are due for groceries so i always go to buy these groceries and i never really come back with the with the breakdown and also i have not done these videos in a while so i thought why not take you guys with me today um so the first thing that you're going to need obviously is a list of things that you're going to buy i'm out of time because my sister is going to come and pick me up i'm out of time so i'm going to write my list onto this little paper and what else did i want to say um we are going to be going to three places if you've been watching the videos you know where we're going we're going to go to coco we're going to go to dumile to buy beef and then we're going to go to warren park i saw on twitter people were having a debate about buying groceries from a tax shop and apparently uh the groceries are fake personally based on my experiences and where i buy whether it's the domestos, whether it's the sunlight, I've never had an issue with it. It's thick enough, it's good enough, and it works just like, I think it's actually the original stuff, if I may say so. So I think we're going to go, and then I'll just keep you guys updated and uh, updated as we go through us the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. Just double check if you subscribe to it on the road to 5K. So yeah, let's get going. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Also, the other thing, if you're going to do your groceries, guys, eat before you leave the house because if you're hungry it's going to influence the decisions that you're going to make i unfortunately cannot eat because i'm also trying to just uh watch what i'm eating this month and also i'm doing intermittent fasting you can only eat after 11. so right now it's 9 a.m let's get going <music> So our first stop of the day, we had to stop at Kokum City. This is where we get all things pork related. So your bacon, your ribs, your country style, this is where you go for the best and fresh meat. And you can, you can see they also have Marcel every time you go in there. And then if you don't want to buy the pre-packaged meat, you can just go at the back, ask the butcher to just scale the amount of meat that you want. Also, a specific type of meat that you want, you'll probably get it at the back. As you can see, I got some bigger patties. I also got some pork belly. If you're going to buy meat at Kokum, you will need the Zimbabwean RITGS because it's cheaper instead of using the US dollar. Kokom, we had to go to the spot where we normally buy the best beef if you ask me this is right across uh, the Harare hospital I'll show you in a minute but basically they have the best beef you don't need to cook it for too long if you're going this is the road that you're going to see it's called Lubengula Road you just go by this road and down there that's where there is the Harare hospital gate and you will see the sign That was our lovely sister we just bumped into. We were so happy to see her. And then we decided to go on to the other side of the tuck shops. Uh, and we came into those shops because the one we stopped at earlier was pretty packed. So we decided to come and get our groceries from here. So on our way from Warren Park, I had to pass through Bovedia to drop off some money at Noreen's place. If you don't know Noreen, she's the runner that I used to buy my things in SA. So I remembered that I needed to buy some winter clothes for my kids, which was also another monthly expense. So he was on our way to her house to drop off the money. Guys, 
so i'm back home i just want to quickly show you what we got i'm not going to do a whole haul because i don't want this video to be too long but we'll just go through everything that we have quickly so this is box number one we pretty much got the basics today bathing soap salt uh some cereal washing powder masoe uh that's what we have some flour in this box and also got some eggs normally this crate will last us for two weeks um but i only managed to get one crate then for the meat this is what i got i got some pork belly and also got some bacon in there some bigger patties and then in here i got some beef and some meat and then lastly in this box there's more cereal toiletries um some cooking oil jam i think that's it i also got some rice i'm just trying to double check if it's in there ah okay there it is this is the best rice i like this rice so much so that's what i got for this month's groceries normally what i will do is to just buy everything in one go so that i don't keep spending money on unnecessary things there you go i don't keep going back to the shop because i find that to be pretty expensive so it's better to just buy your things in one i get that a lot of us maybe we are unable to move from point a to point b to point c to just buy groceries also it can be expensive but like you noticed i went with my sister and sometimes like today we did have to split the money for fuel that so that's also another expense and then what else uh for the groceries themselves i spent in Warren Park, I spent ninety dollars, um, and then at Jumili, I spent ten dollars, and then at Kokom, I spent twenty dollars. Now, keep in mind that the meat that I bought is not going to last us for the whole month, but because we have this sister situation, you can only buy meat for about two weeks. So, in total today, I spent about one one twenty one thirty for our groceries. You also have to leave room for vegetables and greens things like potatoes butternut which will normally amount to 150 to 160 because remember in my other videos i also got to the market regularly maybe once a week or twice um once a week or once in two weeks so i think on groceries groceries monthly we would spend about a total of 200 dollars for us to just be comfortable and there are also things that i didn't manage to get from warren park so i'll probably go into a supermarket get also some new dollars which i will have to transfer into my bank account for me to be able to use rtgs but basically i think 200 dollars is the amount of money that we spend on groceries if you're from zimbabwe please do let me know how much you spend on groceries because maybe you could also guide me i understand that people buy groceries cheaper i understand also that we have different techniques when it comes to saving money so please just just if you have any suggestions leave them down below and i think basically that's all i have to say in regards to how much you spend on groceries i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you found it very informative and useful i hope it was just as entertaining otherwise that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it if you've not subscribed make sure you subscribe and we'll see you guys in my next video